Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, apparently Puppet Harry, as some have called him, makes a call to King Charles, apparently pleading to end the painful and traumatic feud. Now, before you roll your eyes, let's break down the chaos that's unfolding. After the release of Prince Harry's book, Spare, the royal family's ties were stretched to the breaking point. Biographer Tom Bauer suggests that King Charles is ready to reconcile with his youngest son. But here's the kicker, it's not going to be a walk in the park. According to Bauer, the damage caused by Harry and Meghan is so extensive that repairing it seems like an impossible task. In the realm of tell-alls, Harry's various revelations portrayed his relatives as less than welcoming to Meghan Markle. And just when you thought the dust was settling, enter Ahmed Scobie's new book, Endgame, reigniting the royal racist scandal. It's like a soap opera with more twists and turns than we can keep up with. Now, Bauer, the voice of reason in this royal madness, suggests that winning Charles over might be easier for Harry than mending fences with other members of the firm. Why? Well, according to Bauer, Charles is an emotional man who, as a father, was pretty close to Harry. It's almost as if the puppet has found a way to pull the strings of the mastermind. But hold your horses. It's not as simple as a heartfelt father-son reunion. The insider scoop suggests that Charles has laid down some ground rules. Meghan and Harry must agree not to speak ill of the royals again. That's a non-negotiable if they want to find their way back into the royal fold. After all, it would be a shame to see them kicked out for a second time. Drama, drama, drama. However, the complexities don't end there. While Charles might be open to spending time with Harry, commentator Duncan Larcombe believes it will take some time for Prince William and Kate Middleton to forgive the puppet prince. The memoir's dissecting of William's alarming baldness and the Dutch copies of Endgame accusing Kate and Charles of gossiping about Prince Archie have left a bitter taste. Now, here's the kicker. Harry's approval rating in the UK took a nosedive after his move to the US, but as Larcombe points out, Queen Camilla managed to evolve in the public eye despite her cheating scandal. So, is there a way back for Harry? Larcombe suggests that anything is possible, but at the moment, it's pretty unthinkable. Harry's immigration might have altered his position within the firm, but in a dramatic twist, he claims he was pushed out. In a statement, he expressed great sadness at having to step back from his role and leave the country in 2020. The UK is his home, he declared, central to the heritage of his children. As the royal drama continues to unfold, we're left on the edge of our seats, wondering if puppet Harry can truly mend the rift with King Charles or if Meghan's victim game has run its course. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.